All right, well, we're here again with uh, Wes Goodwin, the CEO of Data Bank Services. Um, and uh, I wanted to ask uh, Wes about uh, a subject that we're, we're getting a lot of inquiry about, and I figured that I'd like him to, to address it, you know, directly. But um, it is, and it's about uh, around the topic of, of floppy disk recovery. Uh, in today's environment, um, you know, you don't really see floppy disks any longer, but uh, it still is, you know, something that, that we get quite often. And, um, you know, Wes, uh, you, what, let's talk about floppy disk recovery and, and the, the, the type of situations that, that you see quite often and, and, and just the, the ability of, of the different types of, of floppy disks that are out there. Okay. Uh, well, uh, floppy disks were the primary media used in computers throughout the 70s and early 80s and continued to be uh, largely in use um, in the 80s and into the 90s. Um, so they've been around a long time. There are uh, a lot out there. There's a lot of information stored on floppy disks, and a lot of that is critical information. Um, we have maintained a floppy lab dedicated uh, to all kinds of floppy disk um, recoveries um, and reading of floppy disks and um, of just about any floppy disk format or floppy disk size that uh, one can think of. How, how many, uh, you know, without an exact number, um, you know, when I when I think of a floppy disk, uh, you know, the, the five and the quarter and the three and a half inch, those are basically the the two common ones that, that I remember. Uh, you know, if I ask my kids, they, they ask what's a floppy disk. But what other... How many variations are are there out there? Um, well, uh, there's uh, of the sizes. Uh, there's the common ones are uh, a, a three inch European Amstrad. There's a three and a half inch that was pr predominantly used uh, throughout the U.S. and and much of the rest of the world. Uh, there's a five and a quarter, and there's also an older eight inch. Uh, and then within each of those. Uh, you've got various densities. Uh, you've got single-sided, you've got double-sided, you've got low densities and high densities. And then layered on top of that, you have um, different formats um, ranging from K-Pro and, and Commodore and Amiga to various DOS and, and Apple and Macintosh and there's there's literally hundreds of different formats that can be laid on top of those various floppy conditions or uh, floppy configurations. Okay, well that's yeah. I didn't realize there was that that many variations. Um, what are the you know when 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 somebody is coming to you for you know floppy disk recovery? What what's typically the scenario I mean since we don't see floppy disks very often any longer um, are people still using floppy disks today is that why they're coming to you or is there another reason uh, we get an occasional a person who's using floppy disks who needs assistance uh, a bulk of the floppy disks that we get today are are something that's been in storage um, there have you know have been stored or um, and been newly discovered. Um, they're often involved with you know, the, the, the company has found them and wants to know what they are, or they've been in storage at a university and they need the information off of them, or maybe there's a sale, or uh, even we still get quite a bit of floppy disk gets associated with litigation. Okay, There's so a variety of reasons. So uh, it sounds like a common reason is what's on it because they don't have the ability to read it in the first place. Right. Uh, 
A, a lot of them, they just want to know what's on it. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the floppy disk cat, but over the years, people uh, no longer keep floppy drives, and so they just need it read. Uh, and, and then there's cases where the floppy disk is uh, either is the media on it's damaged or the floppy disk may be physically damaged uh, or um, encrypted in some manner. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. Um, and, and is this a common scenario to, for, you know, other data recovery companies to have, uh, you know, these floppy disk labs as such? Um, well, I don't think so, and, and I say that based on the fact that lots of data recovery companies send us floppy disks that they get in. Um, so my feeling is um, there's not a lot of them that maintain uh, as in depth of a floppy lab as we do. Okay, well, that's uh, that's interesting to know. Okay, uh, is there anything that you want to add to that that I've overlooked or missed at this point? Because uh, I think you've answered a lot of questions here. No, I don't think so. Um, that pretty much sums it up. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for taking your time, and I'm sure we'll be talking to you again soon. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.